Hey, Jason Bradley here again. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I really wanted to talk to you guys about being confident because that is such an important part of playing rock and roll. Uh, it's hard to, you know, put your feet together and look down at your fretboard and, and just uh, sink in your shoulders and kind of be meek and mild and just rock it out, you know? Nobody's buying that, okay? Nobody. So there are some practical things that you can do to build confidence, okay? And uh, for us, us people that play guitar or play drums, I mean, we've kind of got our instruments to hide behind and it helps a little bit. If you're just a singer and you're kind of out there, uh, even with a guitar or whatever sometimes, it, it can be a little more nerve-wracking. And so here are some things that you can do to build confidence. Number one, practice, practice, practice. Experts say you've got to put in about 10,000 hours for you to get really good at your instrument. 10,000 hours is a lot of time. Now, you don't have to put in 10,000 hours before you start gigging. I mean, this has become like just incredible level, all right? But we're talking for you to become someone who can feel comfortable. I mean, you're still gonna have to put in a lot of hours and you're gonna have to know your instrument very well. You're gonna have to practice your chords and your scales and you're gonna have to practice uh, singing, you know? Uh, it just doesn't come through through stepping up and, and doing it at rehearsal. You've got a woodshed on your own. Uh, secondly, you've got to know yourself. What turns you on? What makes you happy? You've got to be comfortable with yourself because that's going to affect the way that you dress on stage. It's going to affect the way that you interact with people on stage. It's going to come across in your songwriting, in your playing, and uh, for you to be able to know yourself, it, you're going to be able to play off of those strengths. Because let me tell you this, none of us musicians went into music because we're cool. It's just a fact of life. There's always something a little off about us. And that's, that's really what we got to play off of. That's your strength, how you don't fit in, how you can't go sit and excel in some corporate job in a cubicle. It's because you're a little off too, and it's all right. If we're all made the same, it, it, what good would that be? And there are a million people that sit in those cubes and that, that uh, have a normal life that then will look at you and say, wow, you know, so I wish just I could have that release once in a while. And that's, that's why they go to your shows, is because they want that release once in a while to just feel like they're living vicariously through you. So you got to know yourself. Uh, third of all is stage presence. You've got to have a good stage presence. Now, like before, my example where your shoulders are all slunk in and, you know, nobody's buying that. So what you got to do is you got to get one leg back and you got to stare people right in the eyes. And you got even if you're an introvert, you can do this. It just takes it takes time to, to develop the skills. Look people in the eye and and look around and get to know people, you know, and say, hey, I'm connecting with you. I, I appreciate you being here. I understand you. You know, it, you gotta you gotta validate people that come out. Uh, and you do that by eye contact. And also just your moves on stage and, and everything you do, grand sweeping motions. I mean, it really should be that people are coming to see you because you don't look like them, you don't act like them, and they want to beat you. Uh, that's really what it's about. So, you know, if you are going to be uh, playing, it should look more like this. Sometimes feel like a Tony too. Sometimes just don't get good. Sometimes feel like a Bonnie too. Sometimes just don't get good. 
something like that, you know, you're moving your head and your shoulders and you're, you're uh, you know, moving your guitar around a bit and bouncing and rocking back and forth. You've got to find a style that works right for you. But I can tell you this, this isn't going to get anybody, <laughs> okay? You've got to develop you. You've got to bring the inner you out. And that brings me to my last point, which is experience. Uh, again, you don't need 10,000 hours of practice in before you hit the stage. You guys got to, you got to hit the stage after, I mean, there's no magic number. You know when you're starting to sound better and you're starting to work more cohesively as a group. You don't want to go out too early because you're going to embarrass yourselves. You don't want to sit in the garage forever because you're going to go nowhere. So what you got to do is come together and practice hard and then book some gigs. Because when you book some gigs, you're gonna be able to get out in front of people and practice this stuff that you've been working on. Now, the first time you go out, are you gonna feel confident? Probably not. You're gonna have some butterflies, you're gonna feel some stage fright, and that's okay. But you'll get through it and it will, it will feel right because you have all those hours of practice in, because you know yourself, because you know your instrument and you've mastered it and you're not sitting thinking about what you're gonna play next. You're gonna think about trying to connect with people out here. And you're gonna get that experience and you're gonna learn how to interact with a crowd. You're gonna learn how to talk to a crowd in your own language, okay? And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be something that is uniquely you, which is the best part of it. There's no really right or wrong way to do this except to look timid. So what you need to do is just be comfortable and you do that by repeated action. So you get out and you kick. You get home and you practice. You take time and just think about, okay, who am I? Those are the things that when they come together on stage, that's when you start to develop the skills that are going to make people pay attention. And it, it's just a process. You can't come in at this level, you're gonna come in at this level and you're gonna work on it till you get up to this level. But you gotta be aware of the details because if you aren't aware of the details, you're never gonna get there and you're gonna keep making the same mistakes over and over and people will forget about you. You need to take control and you need to take these, these four steps. You practice, get to know yourself, okay? Your stage presence, you gotta work on it, and then you actually have to get out and play and get some experience. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, and this one, by the way, was by uh, uh, was uh, a question from somebody. Uh, I'd be glad to be able to make a video to tell you how I do other things, and maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not. But uh, send me your ideas, and I'm more than happy to make a video about it. My name is Jason Bradley. I'm at jasonbradleylive.com. Uh, Thank you and spread the word, please. All right, bye.